Hello from Greece. We got off the ship today and now we are in Santorini for our first stop. The view is literally so pretty. Belle and I are taking pictures right now. We're in Oya right now and it is so, so pretty and it's right on the water. Look who it is back in the vlog. <laughs> That's Bella's dad. This is the view. Like you can see, we're right on the water right here. It is so gorgeous. Everything is white and blue and I love the aesthetic. Greek Orthodox Church, I think is what he said. If they have the blue dome and then if it was white dome, it was something else, but so cute. I really like this pattern right here on this door. It's really cute. That's I, I just took pictures right here. You might see them on Instagram. Look at the domes. Belle and I are shopping for new matching rings because I lost the last one that we had. We like these a lot. I love this one too. This jewelry store is so pretty. Everything is handmade and sterling silver and it's just so beautiful. And the evil eye is a really big thing here. I love all these silver dainty chains. They're adorable. And they all have like the different lengths and everything. This is like all the jewelry that I wear. That was successful. We got the rings and I'm very I'm happy I got to use my euros. Look at those matching. <laughs> Bella found another cat. Look at those eyeballs. Match my dress. Everybody knows I collect ducks and they literally had donkey grease ducks so I just bought two of them. They're so cute. And then the pink one. They're adorable. This hair is going crazy. This view is absolutely insane. <laughs> crazy hair. Bella found another one. That was a fat cat. at the top in Santorini. We are at the highest point in Santorini right now. It is beautiful. Got quite the lineup. <laughs> I got a Caesar salad. And Bella got risotto. Purple. <laughs> I'm so full. Bella ate a lot. She liked it though. Delicious. We finished dinner. So we're walking back to go on the cable cars so that way we can go back to the boat. Because you have to take cable cars to get up and down Santorini. It's the only way up or down, unless you want to ride a donkey. And we didn't ride the donkey. <laughs> cable cars that way. These are the steps to get back up to there. It's 9.30 p.m. right now. So we're gonna go back on the ship. Good morning vlog, it is the next day and we are on the cruise ship now eating breakfast. I got some yummy potatoes. And today our stop is turkey. I'm really excited to go to turkey, but I'm even more excited to eat this pineapple. We made it to Kusadasi. Here's our boat right here. Odyssey of the seas. They said figs are super, super popular here. They grow on like everywhere. It said 70% of the world's figs come from where we are in Turkey right now, which is really, really cool. It's like a jam for your cheese and stuff. The ants here are huge. They are very, very large. Huge. So what kind of fruits did you say grow here? Peaches. We have a lot of peaches in Georgia. Really? Yes, well, that's what we're known for. Big one. Yes. Cherries, olive oil. Also, pomegranate. Pomegranate. They all grow right here? Everywhere is garden. Everywhere. Yeah, huge. It's very, very pretty. So I don't know yeah, if you could see, place, but there's yeah. a castle like castle right there. So oh, yeah. we're trying all of these Turkish drinks and this is a mojito flavored energy drink, which is really cool because you guys know I live off of energy drinks, but this one is like alcohol with no alcohol. We have these other little juices and this one's like mango. Oh my gosh, this apple one is the best. But he said it's made with like mineral water, so it's healthy for you. And here's all the fruits that we tried. The cherries are really, really yummy. This is an apricot, but it tastes just like a Georgia peach, but it's really good. And then that's the peaches from here. Tell me what you think, because I think it tastes just like a Georgia peach. Peach. The consistency is more like a right. More like a peach. We are now going to make a carpet. <laughs> We're going to weave it ourselves. Ooh, this is very pretty. Hello, dog. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Do that part. <laughs> Big scissors. <laughs> so soft. Now shopping for scarves because a lot of people wear them over their dresses. Beautiful. 
We are now at lunch. It's 2.18 and we're getting some Turkish kebabs, which I'm very excited to try because I've never had like authentic Turkish food, I guess. We're at this really tiny, cute place right on the street. <laughs> now it's black. And it's dying. Thank you. Lemon tea. Thank you. Look at the Turkish delight. <laughs> Lots of Turkish delight. Cheers. I like this one better than the other one. Pomegranate and pistachio Turkish delight. I tried the Turkish food at lunch and it was not my favorite. And everybody knows if you're a picky eater, it's really hard to try new foods. But I'm proud of myself because I did it. I'm getting out candy to take home to my parents. I've been doing it at every different country so they can have like a variety of different things to try when I get home. I got other Turkish delight in Greece. So I'm getting these chocolate covered nuts, which they're also known for. They're really known for hazelnuts. So I think I'm going to get these and then pistachios as well. They have all of the different currencies. Good morning from Mykonos. Another day, another island, another country. We just made it to the really, really pretty windmills and Bella and I just took some pictures. <laughs> Here she is. There's our cruise ship. We docked like over here and then walked all the way over here. This is our last stop in Greece. I think I like this better than Santorini. Well, we've been here for like 10 minutes. I know, but I just like how you don't have to take the cable cars up to it. Santorini was very dry. So this feels like there's more greenery and I don't know. Yeah. It's a little more laid back. Yeah. He wants that carrot, my friend. He wants that carrot. <laughs> okay, it's enough of the donkey. This girl finds the cat in every single country we visit. This one looks tired. It wants to be in the shade because it's hot. I try to put my hair down every time and then I just sweat too much because it's so hot. So it ends up in a ponytail every single day. Everything here is blue and white and I love that aesthetic. It's so pretty. We are in a baby clothes store. Bella's sister is pregnant, looking for clothes for her little baby girl who's supposed to be coming soon. And it's very, very cute. Like, look at all these tiny little sneakers. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Oh my <laughs> Gucci baby, rich baby, fancy baby. These are so cute. Icon found a really pretty jewelry store. I really like this evil eye necklace. I think they're very cute. I found one that fits my pinky. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be twins again. So I've had this ring for three years. So we have this one. This one. <laughs> And we have this one. <laughs> I love all the pretty necklaces. I really like the evil eyes too. I think that is very cool. And we learned about them when we were in Santorini. These cute little stars. I have no more real estate on my fingers. Otherwise I would get one. So many pretty earrings. I have a lot of real estate for those. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I got a Turkish towel. Bella and I just got new sunglasses. So I got these pretty brown ones. They're kind of like the same ones I always wear. I like the little cat eye. She got these pink ones. Okay, we just got back on the ship from Mykonos and I'm doing a mini Mykonos haul. First, I got these sunglasses. They were only 15 euro and I really like them. I don't have any brown sunglasses like this. Pretty much only wear like white or black ones. And because I'm blonde, I feel like they look good with my hair. I really liked these. I got this towel. It's like a Turkish towel, but it's from Greece. Greece hand makes them just like Turkey does. And it's just basically just really big. And I want to use it for picnics because I love going on picnics. Handmade like little woven towel. It's blue and white. And then the last thing Belle and I both got for these tote bags. They're really, really cute. Mine has like a big evil eye. Wait, mine is like the opposite of yours. Yeah, pretty much. But they're really cute. They have Velcro and it's just a good little tote bag. I'm always going to the beach in the pool. And these were also 10 euro. It's like so cheap. Everything is so cheap. And the conversion between euro and dollars is almost the same. So I got that bag. Then I got this t-shirt. Mykonos on the top. It's also like embroidered, so it's like nicer. Oh, it's like tape shut. But we got an ornament. We do like a travel tree, and so every time we go abroad, we try to get an ornament. An ornament, and it's all in this one tree. When we got our sunglasses, the lady gave us little cases, so. Oh, mine. I got a pink case. That's the most stuff I've bought from one place. Every time we go somewhere, I normally just buy like one little thing, but I got a lot this time. Tomorrow we have a day at sea, and then we're going to Capri, Italy. Bye! Hello from Rome. Yesterday we went to Capri, Italy, and that was our last stop on the cruise. I didn't vlog that because we didn't do a whole lot, but now we got off the ship bright and early this morning and we are spending two days in Rome. I have been to so many different countries and cities this trip, and I hope you guys have loved exploring them with me just as much. We just got to our hotel and it's beautiful. So let me give you a mini tour. This is like the little common area. There's a bar right here. The bathroom is like a secret little window. It's like a little push. Oh, there's Bella. <laughs> but that's the bathroom. It's a little hidden door. But this is our pretty gold hotel in Rome.
Pantheon. Sit. Thank you, my waiter. Oh. It was built in 126 AD? Probably. Wow, that's an old building. I got more pineapples. They look just like the ones from Positano. They gave it to us like this too. How do you flush it? The <laughs> Why are we in a dungeon? This is like the nastiest bathroom ever. Look at all the goofy hats we got going on. There's one, there's two, the there's old people, three. The old people hats? <laughs> the old I people hats? Yeah. Louis Vuitton. Ooh. We're in the luxury part. The church bells are ringing and we're finding Zara. Apparently it's the biggest Zara ever and everybody has told us to go there. So we are on a mission. <laughs> Success. This place is huge and if you look up, there's literally so many floors. We could be in here forever. This Zara is insane. Bella and I just went through all four floors and I got a bunch of stuff to try on. We're waiting in the fitting rooms right now. She's grabbing another dress from right there. And I totally recommend coming here. I had never been into a Zara before, but it's relatively affordable and it's so cute. I had to put my hair up because I got sweaty. Success, I just spent like $50 and I got three very cute things and I'll show you guys when we're back at the hotel. I found my car in Rome. They have so many minis because the streets are so small. This one's a little dirty, but this looks very similar to my car at home and I miss her. I miss the Katie Coop. We get to fill up our water bottles here. It's like a water fountain, but not really. We have just walked to the Spanish steps. That's a lot of steps and a lot of people. And if you watched our Amalfi Coast vlog, when we spent four days in Positano, you know how we feel about freaking steps. <laughs> Nothing compared to Amalfi Coast steps. Look at all this. Escola de Espanol. <laughs> Sit. No sit. Okay. Lesson learned. Don't sit on the Spanish steps or the Italian government will yell at you. We are in the Italian McDonald's. <laughs> this is so fancy. Dang! McDonald's has macarons, Nutella muffin, cheesecake, tiramisu. Wait, what's a temptation? What is that? Those Temptations. Like <laughs> That's our order for 16 euros. Success. It looks like pizza bites. Oh, they're big. Let's try. It tastes like pizza rolls. I need salt. It's got a good cheese pull on the inside. Cheese pull. <laughs> that was not a cheese pull. I would rate this a solid 7 out of 10. We made it to the Trevi Fountain. Very pretty, but look how many people are here. <laughs> that is a lot of tourists. The Trevi Fountain is beautiful. I'm standing right in front of it. I was listening to a little audio sound about it that tells you information about it, but it's very, very, very pretty. You just don't see anything like this in the US, so it's really cool. Look at Bella's parents. So cute. <laughs> Well guys, that is the end of this travel vlog. The last clip that you guys saw was my camera breaking. It decided to break on our first day in Rome, which was a little bit unfortunate, but today is our second day in Rome and we leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Thank you for coming around with me to travel all of Europe these past two weeks. It has been an incredible, incredible vacation and you guys have been living for all the content on Instagram, on this channel, and on my TikTok, which has been so, so crazy. I can't believe I had this opportunity. Thank you to Bella and her family for taking me. It's just been amazing and I'm so, so blessed but i love you subscribe be prepared for a lot more travel content coming soon and i will see you in the next one don't forget to always smile and be kind